Aloha. Aloha. Well, it's Thanksgiving Day weekend, and we are out doing a whole bunch of things this weekend, and we thought we'd take you along on a few of them because they're interesting and fun, and hopefully you think so, too. Right. It kind of shows uh, you know, what life is like. We talk about this on the Big Island, and so uh, when you have a four-day weekend in front of you, the first thing you do is you get up early in the morning on Black Friday, you go out for a hike. Instead of Black Friday. But yeah, we aren't yeah. early. First of all, it's 940, so that okay. was not early at all. We thought we'd get out earlier. We thought we'd get out earlier. But, but today is actually kind of a chillier day. Yeah. It's cool, and we're going down to go um, uh, go for a swim down at the Monument. So that's what our plan is today, and we're going to take you guys along there. So, so first of our things to do this weekend. Let's go. So uh, on this trail, you can see that the cane grass is like 15 feet high. Look at this, you guys, look at it. Look at it, look how tall this is. This is the rainy season that we've had this year in 2020. So here we are at Kalakakua Bay, and we are clearly obviously not alone. There's about seven tour boats behind us, which means that uh, visitors are back, and we are about to jump in, and uh, if you come, try and jump off this wall. I was watching somebody trying to crawl through this way. Don't go through the reefs. I have to, you guys know me, I'm the safety girl, so do what I say. Uh, but we're gonna do a big old bad back dive off of this wall here, and uh, we're gonna start our adventure in the water. Okay, it's the end of our snorkeling. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Did you get a, did you see enough while you were there? Yeah, I got a chance to see a little baby moray eel. I saw a ton of tang. In fact, a little hint is if you want to come up to a, a school of tang, float softly. It's kind of like coming to Hawaii, float softly. <laughs> so anyways, we have our little trek up the 1.8 miles up and we're off. We'll get back to the top and call yeah. it a day for this adventure. Right, so uh, you guys if you do this thing, bring plenty of water. A lot of patience. Goats, you gotta love them. It's a slog going up this hill. I'm not saying anything about my age or anything. A steep hill. So, uh, we're definitely uh, working, working off that turkey from yesterday on this hill. And if you guys uh, want a good workout, oh lord, this is it. All right, it's the end of the hike. And uh, we're here at the top. The sun was out, making it a little bit fun coming up that last section. But all in all, a good day. And now we're off to our next place. So we're gonna take you guys along. All right, later. guys hey uh it's the next day and we are here at a christmas tree farm wearing our mask because it's uh in public and uh, we need to do that julie has joined me <laughs> i've joined How him surprising to cut down a tree yes so uh, there's a special type of christmas tree that they have here it's a um, portuguese cypress i think is what it is okay. a very unusual uh, hawaiian type tree so we're going to go do that and we'll take you guys along. How's right. That? And uh, we're in a uh, place called Nanole, mm -hmm. which is on the Hamakua coast and we've never been here before. So uh, it's a beautiful day. So let's go out and check out some trees. 
Okay, so we just met the owner of the Hamakua Christmas tree farm, and she was saying that uh, these trees range from all different sizes. And we wanted to show you kind of what this looks like. It's weird. I've never seen anything like it. Look at these. This is interesting. And I guess these grow pretty quick because they're not hardwood. But uh, look, I mean, if you want an exotic Christmas tree, this is a place to find it. So uh, basically the story is if you guys do come, uh, the trees uh, with the ornaments are the ones that are taken. So this one's already gone. So we're going to wander through like 40 acres and see if we can find our perfect tree. So after looking at numerous trees, we decided to go for the fluffy one because I, I like to believe that we can put a lot of lights on this one and it won't pull the uh, things down too far. Um, so uh, we're buying local, right? We're staying, staying sustainable and uh, we're picking this tree. So here I go. I'm going to cut down this tree. I think I am. <laughs> Ta-da! Doing my womanly work of hiking trees up hills in Hawaii. That's me. <laughs> so here we are at the um, Hamakua Christmas tree forest and we are with a forester. And this is Richard, and he's the owner of this space. And uh, I wanted to ask him a few questions so you guys can see what's going on. So um, when did this whole thing start? About four years ago in earnest. Okay, and then you really started selling Christmas trees hard just last year? Pretty much this year. This year. People started reserving them in July and August. They, they picked out trees early and come back and get them now. Okay, and then this is kind of cool. What makes this brand, this, this, this kind of tree, so special? Well, it's a Portuguese cypress. It has a historical references that we didn't even know about when we started this whole forest. It goes back to the 50s and 60s. It, this is the tree of the Christmas tree of choice for the Portuguese and the ranchers and the, and the cowboys and everything up in this particular area. So they're so happy to find this a Portuguese cypress tree available. Yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> and he's creating two new ones for next year too. So you're going to have two or three different kinds. The Arizona of trees cypress from. and the Leyland cypress, which are also very habitable to this climate. Right, so that way when you cut it down, you actually get into your house and not have it turn brown. The leaves don't fall off you're and it lasts a lot water. longer. The stick in the water, it'll keep growing. That's awesome. So there we go. We're supporting local and look at support your local forester. We've had one hell of a weekend. Now we're traveling again. It's Sunday and now we're on our way down to Volcano and our goal is hike a little bit in Volcanoes National Park and then take you to the Volcano Winery. Um, we're gonna do a little tasting there. And uh, we're starting this morning off with uh, Manuka State Wayside Park, which has all these different kinds of um, non-native trees. And so it's kind of like a tree park. And um, if you get a chance to come down here, wander around, it's pretty, and you get a chance to see some really cool uh, different trees from all over the world. So we are on our way south. I'm sure we're not alone and wanting to stop by the Punulu Bakery on our way down the volcano. If many of you have traveled around the island before, you know you have to go in here and get the malasada as our favorite soliloquy. But if you have not yet done this yet, you gotta stop at this bakery and get your malasadas, get your bathroom break on, and uh, get some drinks as we're heading down south. But uh, get the malasadas. We were just talking about this, that Lily Koi is the best, not just on a malasada, on a cheesecake, on fish, mm -hmm. you know, margaritas, martinis, can't <laughs> beat some Lily Koi. But malasadas in general, mm. yum, 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 yum. Ooh, look at this, it's Chilean. It's 68 degrees up here, so I get a chance to wear my sweatshirt, my jeans, woohoo. So uh, we're gonna go for a hike down at Desolation Trail. We're gonna try to find Byron's Ledge, but uh, the best part is being here in a nice chilly environment because it's starting to feel like the holidays. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we have an unexpected surprise. Today we took Byron's Ledge Trail down here and we ended up on the 
first love of Hale Mau Mau, which is I've never been down here before. So this is really cool and spectacular. So it was a bonus of what we were thinking was going to be. One of the things that I missed on the, you know, coming here on the Big Island the most was probably wine tasting. And lo and behold, we've got Volcano Winery. It's the only real uh, winery on the island. And uh, they actually import grapes from Napa Valley and they're actually growing their own stock in the front yard over there and uh, they have a wine tasting that you can have like five or six different flavors and then do a charcuterie board so it's really a fun stop if you're going to Volcano um, the park uh, come up and have some wine and it's open until 5 30 and uh, starts at 10 and we got here exactly at wine 30 so we're heading back in Nowhere else in America could you get a wine that was next to a live volcano that covered this entire area with ash and sulfuric acid and have the wine to show for it. This is a very smoky, spicy red wine. And seriously, you guys, 2018 Pinot Noir, right close to where this thing was exploding two years ago. That's pretty cool. Estate Pinot Noir, smoky oak tones, earthy oak notes, with a subtle smoky and sulfuric notes with a distinct cherry tartness. Really good with her crusted lamb, filet mignon, and sirahi tuna or steak. This one here is our limited edition Pinot Noir. We get these grapes frozen from Carnell's, California from 2018. Very dry and tanny, fruit for a blackberry and cherry tones. Which one do you think is better, the California or the Hawaii? It all depends on your taste buds. This is a little lighter. Yeah, look at this. this is it's like a lot lighter. Yeah. It's, yeah. The it's a kind of more like a claret. And then this is like really color. color. Yeah. I would yeah. say this is more fruity. This is more like sulfur because of the ash fall that came on here from the last eruption. Oh, there you go. So. 2018 is when it happened. All right, it is Sunday night after, uh, when we start on Thursday? So, yep. so we're going to take on all those great adventures. Where did we do this weekend? What was it? Uh, we uh, went down on a four mile Captain hike to Cook. Captain Cook. We uh, snorkeled with the fishes and saw some eels. Now we're here in Volcano Winery. We got yep. a chance to go on a crazy four mile hike today down to the caldera. Yeah. This yep. is Hawaii. Oh, and this we got a Christmas tree island. too. Oh, then we got a Christmas tree, went so down on the Cook Coast. We have been all over this big and island. And you got a chance to come with us. So yes. with that. Go wait, wait, wait. Don't forget that if you love the Big Island and you actually want to live here. That's right. Check out our website. We have uh, all the things you need to know how to move here at move to Hawaii 365com Very good. Okay. Aloha. Aloha.